Hello and welcome to Reverse Engineering 3201, Symbolic Analysis. Uh, symbolic execution and symbolic analysis are very powerful tools for bug hunting, code verification, and reverse engineering tasks overall. Um, in this class, we are going to dive into concepts like SMT Solver Constraint Programming, but we are also going to um, see how binary analysis frameworks are using um, SMT Solver and constraint programming in their backend to facilitate the use of these techniques for binary analysis at all. Uh, it's going to be a very practical course, so we are going to solve a lot of CFDF challenges on the way. Of course, you could solve them sometimes easily uh, with other reverse engineering techniques, but that's not the case in this course. We are going to use Anger and all its features for it. So the requirements for this course are Python. So I'm not going into the details of the Python code. You are supposed to see it and understand it. If you are not familiar with Python yet, please go ahead and visit learnpython.org. And the same is valid for assembly 86 and 64-bit binaries. So if you are also not that comfortable or just want a refresh, feel free to go ahead in your ST2 and redo the reverse engineering path. Some of the goals of, of this course is, of course, understand how SMG Solver works in general. And then we are going to shift into symbolic execution and the techniques that are behind it, the algorithm and this stuff. And we are going to get all the flags. A short disclaimer, this course is, is a personal thing, personal project nothing to do with my employee. A short in the agenda, we are going to have a basic intro, I will talk a little bit about logic, we are going to see the symbolic execution algorithm, we are going to play a little bit with C3 to get a feeling about it, then we go to anger and we solve a more complex challenges with anger and in the end, we are going to use all the techniques that we learned throughout the course to solve the binary bomb that you should be familiar with. And that's me. See you!